I'm gonna give my man the cleanest Edgar that you have ever seen. So to start off this cut, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my two guard with the lever all the way open. And we're gonna start off by deep walking the sides. And the reason I wanna do this is because his hair is so overgrown that I wanna give myself a nice clean canvas to work with. And I'm keeping in mind as I'm debulking to not take this too high because I know I'm gonna wanna do a low fade. So I'm just debulking the areas that I know I'm gonna have to go ahead and establish my lines in. And you'll see with this two guard, I'm kind of creating the shape of the blend that I want as well. You know, I'm, I'm dropping it towards the back just like I want the fade to be. And you'll see in order to stop myself from taking it up too high, I'm using the comb as a guard to kind of stop me from taking it any higher. So right here, I'm just cleaning it up. Again, I'm not taking this high. We're going to have to come back with this two guard later. This is just to get it out the way and now we're going to go ahead and establish our bald line with our trimmer. So I'm starting at the end of the eyebrow and then sloping it around the ear to drop towards the back. And you'll see I went to the back just to ensure that I, you know, I have a nice symmetrical drop that isn't crooked on either side. Now we're going to go ahead and shave the bottom with our trimmer. And I'm letting the weight of the trimmer do the work here. I'm not pressing down too hard. And now I'm going to follow it up with the shaver just to get it nice and close to the skin and add another layer of gradients to this blend. And now we're going to start off fading. So we're going to come in with that lever open and we're going to go up about a finger's width. At the same time, we're maintaining that drop shape throughout the entire process. So you'll see I'm using a lot of the corner of the blade, especially around the area where it drops. And that's because I don't want to take it higher than needed. So using the corner helps prevent, you know, the chance of using the whole blade where you kind of mess up the shape. That's kind of something I like to do when I'm doing drops. Now I'm connecting it with the other side that I had already finished. So I'm coming in still with that open, trying to make sure that I get a nice clean guideline. And now we're gonna come in with our one guard open and we're gonna start establishing that next line going up. So in this fade, I'm gonna establish all my lines moving upwards and then I'll blend down as I get some, after I get to my highest guard. And as we establish this lines, you're already seeing the fade come together or taking shape. So all we're going to have to do is blend all those lines out and that'll put us right where we need to be. So now we're coming in with that two guard open once again. That's why I wasn't being too detailed because I knew I was going to have to come back with it. And I'm taking it up just slightly higher, still using the comb. So I'd prevent the chance of taking it up too high. And you'll see towards the back, I'm doing the same thing, making sure that I keep this nice and low. And now we're going to start blending down. So I grabbed my one and a half open and I'm going to attack that line right under the two open and I'll close that lever little by little as needed. And when I say as needed, what I mean is if I come in open and it isn't doing the job, I'll close it in order to blend that line out a little more. And then obviously if the one and a half didn't work, I would go back to my one open. But I believe in this fade, it pretty much brings everything together. So now I'm connecting it to the back as well. And if you guys know, man, this blend is definitely not an easy one. So I had to take my time with it, make sure I got it right. So now I'm gonna come in lever open with my half guard. And we're gonna attack that line right under that. So you'll see I started off open again and then I'm gonna close it little by little. And slowly but surely you'll start to see this blend come together, especially when we attack that last line. Utilizing a lot of the corner of the blade so I don't risk taking this blend up any higher. And you'll see since I am using the corner, it's allowing me to go into areas where I use the one or the one and a half. And a cool trick I like to do for erasing bald lines, especially when I have to keep it low, is I like to use the corner of the trimmer to go ahead and break up the uh, bald line so it's that much easier 
when I do come in with my clipper. And you can kind of already see just by using the corner that bottom line is already blending out so it's making our job that much easier. So now to get fully rid of that bottom line I'm going to come in closed and tap at that line and then as we move up I'll open up that lever little by little. So I'll come in closed and then a quarter and then halfway and then fully open and that should pretty much get this line completely blended. So you'll see I'm just working, opening and closing that lever. Now we're going to move towards the back and since the, the corner of the trimmer already pretty much erased it, all we're going to do is use the corner of the blade and then gradually open up that lever. And you can see how this blend is coming together very nicely, super clean transition, especially after we blend into this balk. So now before we blend that balk out, I'm going to go ahead and line up the arch and that's because I don't want to make this part any lighter. I want to keep this area fairly dark. So in order to do that, I'm going to go ahead and line it up so I don't risk the chance of cutting off, you know, too much hair. So I started at the top and then went to the bottom and connected the two points in the middle. And then after we framed out his lineup, we're going to go ahead and debulk the side. So to do that, right where we left off with the two open, I'm going to clip her over comb into that length he has. So I'm coming in with that comb and flaring out slightly. And then any hair sticking out of the comb, we're going to go ahead and get rid of. And you'll see I'm kind of blending up the same process. But instead of coming in with the clipper sideways, I was going upwards. And now to really soften everything up and bring everything together, we're going to do some uh, thinning shear over comb. And this is a lifesaver, especially when blending into hair that is very dark and very long. Because especially with this, if I don't want to take off too much, you know, the thinning shears will definitely help with that because they'll blend. But at the same time, still maintain that shade of darkness that we want. And then after we complete that, we're going to blend into his beard. And all that really is is a reverse taper. So I'm coming in open and then getting rid of that line in the middle. And that blend looks super clean from this angle. Now we're going to come in with our one guard and that pretty much blends into the length that he has. And then we're going to detail the blend a little bit more. And I don't know about you, but that blend is looking super crazy using a lot of the corner. And for his lineup, we kept it as it was. He wants to keep it really low, very Edgar like. But he wanted to make it just a little bit more symmetrical. So that's what we were doing here. And now for the bottom of the beard, I'm going to line up the back and then the bottom. And you'll see how just doing the back of the beard and the bottom of the beard makes it look so much fuller, so much darker. So I always encourage people when they grow out their beard to line up the bottom because it gives it the illusion of it being a lot more dense. And these uh, new Babyliss FX1s, as you can see, they are hitters. They eat through the hair. They line up the hair very nicely. 10 out of 10 recommend these. Review coming soon. And now we're going to use our shaver to get it nice and close to the skin. Tighten everything up. This is the closest you're going to get, especially on the neckline, unless you do use the razor, which I don't like to do. You know on clients unless they ask for it and now we're gonna go ahead and style the top so we're gonna just put some texturizing powder with a little bit of clay so with the clay you want to make sure that you melt it in your hands and then work that right into the hair and we just want to give it a slight texture look make it look a little messy but this is how we came in looking and this is how we left leaving fam this is not an easy haircut to do so if this video helps you in any way shape or form make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and like always i appreciate you guys and I will catch y'all next time. Peace.